Federal ministers have rejected PTI propaganda about casualties and said PIMS, Polyclinic and all relevant departments in Islamabad have denied receiving dead bodies of protesters. Addressing a joint press conference with foreign journalists, Information Minister Ataullah Tarar and Federal Minister Ehsan Iqbal revealed that the culprit behind the fake news that Rangers personnel were hit by their own vehicle has been identified from Abbottabad, Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa and said the only casualties during the violence were Rangers and police personnel. More in this report by Ali Andaz. Information Minister Atatarar has said PEMS, Polyclinic and all relevant departments in Islamabad have strongly denied receiving dead bodies of protesters as being alleged and challenged PTI to provide any evidence to support their claim. Addressing international media in Islamabad along with Minister for Planning Asan Iqbal, the Information Minister said strict orders were given to security personnel barring them from using lethal force against protesters. The miscreants, they were armed with latest weaponry. They were carrying tear gas shells, they were carrying pebbles, they were carrying catapults. They had all kinds of weaponry with them. And despite the orders of the Islamabad High Court that no protest is to take place, these miscreants tried to breach the red zone. The false rhetoric on social media was played up by using a false narrative that these rangers personnel were hit by their own people. The culprit has been identified He's from the Aptabad city of KPK. The information minister also questioned the presence of Afghan nationals in the protest. Tarar said Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa is facing real security challenges and their chief minister is busy leading protests on Islamabad. Planning Minister Asan Iqbal said no democracy in the world would allow such groups to attack their state institutions in the name of democracy. We see that there is a pattern of violent politics that PTI has been carrying out. And this pattern culminated at the peak point on 9th May. No democracy would allow any group in the name of freedom of expression or action. Such uh, activities where groups could you know, attack their military installations and vital state institutions. Planning Minister Asan Iqbal said PTI founder faces serious charges of corruption and instead of facing trials, he resorts to tactics to delay the proceedings.